Hi, Teffle Dude here, and today I'm going to show you how to change your background or to change the way your face looks by using Snap Camera in conjunction with your online platforms. As you know, many of them, Skype, Zoom, Google Meet, already offer you a different background. Some of them don't, like the big blue button. But what none of them offer you is the ability to change your face in case you're having a bad hair day. I'm going to go through each example showing you how it works on Skype. As you can see here, Skype offer you a different background and together with Snap Camera, you can give yourself a different face. And the same goes in Zoom. Here I'm using an image of when I lived in Livorno and I still have a different face. This also works with MS Teams where they give you a different background and you can still change your face, and also Google Meet. However, a word of warning, when I was teaching for a school, they didn't allow me to change my background. So maybe you want to use the ability to change your background or face using this snap camera. The big blue button, however, doesn't allow any changes to your background. So therefore you might invest in this application. I say invest, it's free. You might want to invest your time in this application so you can have a different background. So we'll be going through these steps. We're going to download the Snap Camera, add your camera, particular camera, to the Snap Camera. We'll show you how to do that. And then we're going to help you to add it to your online video. Now the camera I'm going to be using is actually my laptop camera. This video camera on the left, my Logitech, I'm actually using to record this video as we speak. And most of you won't have one of those cameras. So I'm gonna show you how wonderfully well it works with just your normal laptop camera. So in part one, we're going to download the Snap Camera software. To do this, type in Snap Camera in your browser, press enter. Now don't go to the first one, because as you can see, it says Lens Studio. We don't want that. Go to the second one where the address is snapcamera.snapchat.com. Simply click on it. Go to the top right, click download. And as you can see, you have to tick agree, but you don't have to give your real email. Just type in anything at .com, click I am not a robot, and download for PC. And there you can see on the bottom left, it's downloading. And if I go to show folder, you will see Snap Camera, I downloaded it earlier, it's there, and you simply install it. Once it's installed, we need to add the camera to Snap Camera. So once you've downloaded Snap Camera, open up the app by clicking on the icon. Once you've opened it, you may see this blank because it hasn't recognized your camera. I'm actually using two cameras. This 922 I'm using for this video, so it will not allow me to use it. I'd have to turn that off in order to use that. This second camera integrated is my webcam of my laptop. Most of you will have that. So go back and there is the camera. So you can see I have a different background. And simply what you can do is click on any of these icons. As you can see, I can change the way my face looks. Uh, there are many different ones. You can try them all out. I've saved some of my favorites here so that I can give you a, a good example of how they look. This is if you need a background. So I've saved a few backgrounds, but this is if you want a different face. And this is what you add to your Zoom or Skype background. So let's start off with Skype. 
Okay, so here we are in Skype. Remember, I've set it up first here in order for it to be available in Skype. So what you do is you go to your settings, video, and at the top it says integrated camera. It can't use the camera because Snap Camera is using it. So what you do is you go to Snap Camera and there you can see it's now using my Snap Camera together with the different backgrounds offered to me by Skype. Now remember, you do need to make sure that Snap Camera is on first. Now let's see how to use it in Zoom. Okay, so here's my Zoom meeting. Remember I've got Snap Camera started already. I'm just gonna start a meeting. And what you need to do is, well, first of all, you can see I'm using the 922. If I try to turn it on, it, it won't let me. But what I can do is choose Snap Camera and then click this icon and there's my Snap Camera. Remember with Zoom, if you want to change your background, simply go to choose virtual background and then I could choose a different background such as this. And now that's my background. Remember, I can change my face if I want to, all in Zoom. Let's now have a look at MS Teams. Okay, so here's my MS Teams meetings and I want to add my camera. Simply open up your Meet and there you can see my camera is waiting to be used. I've clicked on the background filters so I can add a different filter. I could add the space if I wish. But remember that in the settings, if I join now, remember to go to the device settings. And as you can see here, I've chosen Snap Camera. The others won't work. If I tried Integrated Camera, it, it won't work. So you do have to open up the Snap Camera first and use that. Remember, if you want to show your normal face again, you can just simply click on that icon and it will show your normal face again. So here in Google Meet, remember, if you want to change the background, click the three dots, apply visual effects, and you can then change the background to anything you want. And you can simply change your picture as well at the same time by clicking on this icon over here. And there you can see I've changed into a kind of cartoon character. So that's Google Meet sharing with Snap Camera. And finally, there is the big blue button where if you wish to add your camera, you need to tell it which camera you wish to add. So obviously it won't add any camera I'm using at present. You want to add the snap camera. Now, while you can have different faces, you can actually add a background or a face. You can't do both at the same time. So I prefer this one because I've got gray hair. The background is better for me. But if you have darker hair, then maybe these other backgrounds are much better for you to use. So that's the big blue button using Snap Camera. So that's how to use Snap Camera integrated with Zoom backgrounds, Skype backgrounds, etc. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope your online lessons, you're no longer frightened of looking a bit disheveled in the morning. Simply put on a new hairdo and go online and have a good lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like.